Vincent City Hall and the private sector was in legal battle on the container fee situation, Chairman of the Finance Committee updated staff members on the way forward. Mr. Oscar Clark said laws will be changed or amended to ensure city revenues are properly collected and accounted for. The law constricts you. It's limited in this way and that way. We have to change the law. And we can change it. We're changing the law. Because recently when they took us to court on the container tax, the container fee, the magistrate said, we are coming in the wrong section, we come in the wrong section. Come under the other section and we can be able to deal with it. In other words, we beat the law that we went on to was the wrong section. And that's the reason why the palavering and say, oh, they win. They haven't won anything. The law gives us the authority, but we went under the wrong section. Councillor Clark said the container fee is a revenue earner for the city and that business owners are depriving the council of revenues. We talk about, and that's an area where we should be able to make substantial money. If you come in and you bring in all the containers, you bring them into the street, mashing up the streets and the parapets, mashing up the bridges, trying to turn up down a bridge, nobody, <laughs> and the city council doesn't look after but you're paying the council no money. How is the council going to be able to do that? So it, 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 is, it is serious. We have some serious work to do in those areas, and we will do those work. The mayor and city council of Georgetown had reduced the container fee from 25000 to $5,000 as the council, the Georgetown Chambers of Commerce and Industry, and the private sector had formed a tripartite to address the issue and had finally agreed on the way forward. But City Mayor Patricia Chase Green told Headline News that the tripartite meeting has been stalled. When we are doing these things, we want your support. When we are going after the container fee, we want your support. Your worker is here and you must know why we are going after it. When we say we want the parking meters, you must know that we are not doing so because we, we want, just want to talk. We know why. Because the parking meters is going to bring to this city substantial revenue. And so we are still moving forward to look at the bylaws. We are, we are collecting the $5,000 in the interim. But how long does this interim last? And the progress of the city has to move forward. I mean, we don't drop the container fee from $25,000 to $5,000. The private sector went two days after said so they will not be bullied into anything. I myself will not be bullied into anything by the private sector. We want to work in collaboration. We want to have a nice friendly relationship, one that is workable, and we must be able to have development in our council. Christmas is coming. You know the chaos is going to happen. There are so many things that need to be addressed. And so therefore, we are moving forward. Is it, is it that this is it that you're hoping that your $25,000 will still maintain, or you're hoping that an, an acceptable fee will be discussed and, and, and um, agreed upon at that tripartite meeting? What is the council looking for? We are looking at an acceptable fee. We would have said $25,000 in the initial stages. They said it was too much, and they gave a host of reasons. We also have our reasons why we wanted $25,000, but we will work towards an acceptable fee for the 20-foot containers and also for the 40 and 45-feet containers. So we are willing to work. And that's why we would have submitted our names early. Andrew Weeks, Safe TV 2, Headline News.